Hey there, Angie with the Gillette Group. Just wanted to come at you today. We're doing something a little different. We talk a lot about the Southwest Florida lifestyle and we wanna just give you a little peek into a little bit of what does that mean? So that's what we'll be talking about today. Stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss. This is the Live Joy Southwest Florida channel where we talk about everything that you need to know about moving to and living in Southwest Florida. If this is the kind of content you're looking for, please subscribe, ring the bell, you'll be notified every time we release a new video. You can reach out to us on all social media channels or you can schedule time with us by clicking the calendar link below in the comments. We talk a lot about the Southwest Florida lifestyle and today we're gonna do something a little different. We wanna share with you what does that mean? So one thing that a lot of people are into is kayaking and paddleboard sports. And we have a really beautiful, actually many beautiful locations, but we're just bringing one of them to you today. Right here in downtown Bonita Springs, we have a kayak launch off of Old 41, where you can kayak the Imperial River, part of the Great Calusa waterways. And it is about nine miles of trails and depending on which direction you go, so you can either go inland and you can get so much nature. It's kind of windy. You're gonna see a lot of old cypress trees, a lot of mangroves, which is like, you know, typical Florida. Or you can actually head towards the Gulf where you're gonna get closer and closer to a sterile bay. One of the favorite things that people talk about is that it's very common to see wildlife in here and also things like manatees. So it's one super cool thing about living in Southwest Florida. There are so many places to kayak and Honestly, with 300 days of sunshine, we can kayak almost any day of the year or stand up paddleboard or whatever you're into. Bonita Springs has recently undergone a beautification and oh, it is just so awesome to see how much it's changed. You can see the new library here on the left. Look at what they've done with the streets, all the pavers. Riverside Park is hosting all kinds of uh, festivals and fun things and they really have brought in um, an opportunity for some new businesses, including one of our favorites, which is the Downtown Coffee and Wine Bar, where they bring in live musicians. It's right here on the right. There's just so many great things happening here in downtown Bonita Springs, and it's so exciting to see the changes and the revolution that is happening. And next is Trackside Donuts, staple of Bonita Springs. And no trip to Bonita Springs is complete without a stop at the Trackside Donuts. My personal favorite, vanilla iced with sprinkles. I'm like a little kid. But two of the other big favorites here are the Honey Dip and the Chocolate Old Fashioned. And don't forget to come on a Sunday where you get a very special treat, which is the Cherry Fritter. Only available on Sundays, and I promise you, it is worth the trip. When you're driving along in Bonita and Fort Myers Beach area, you can find little uh, pull-ins with public beach access and a couple parking spots. You do have to get there early, but just wanted to share when you're walking through, you come through the trees and then voila, it's just heaven right there. Beautiful sandy beaches. We've got folks out for their morning walk. Look how calm the Gulf of Mexico is at the time of this video. It's just charming and one of the greatest parts of living in Southwest Florida is the access to the beaches. One of the other things that we love is actually just driving to the beaches. It's so beautiful. Everywhere you look, there's sunshine and palm trees. We've got people out fishing looking at all the Florida mangroves, coming along here in Bonita, you see a lot of the condo buildings, no high rises right there in that area. Those have the Gulf of Mexico on the other side. Here we go, coming along with New Pass, one of our favorite places to beach when we've got a boat day. You pull up there on the beach and just hang out and enjoy the sunshine. There really is nothing better. And when we talk about Southwest Florida lifestyle, this is definitely a huge part of it. And we are coming along and we can't wait to show you our next stop. And here we are, we've talked about it before, but the Bonita Beach Dog Park. This is the dog beach and it is 
no leashes beyond that sign and your dogs are free to come and splash and have as much fun in the Gulf of Mexico and the bay and the Gulf water that we do. So Jeremy's going to take a little run down here and show you where the beach is. The water was a little deep. We're not in our, our swimming gear, so for, forgive us as we navigate this, uh, this water, but look how clear the water is. So you just have to take a quick little hike through this spot, and then when you come around the corner, you're going to see all the beach that is for the doggies. So we got a little bit of beach area there, and then when you come around the next corner, We've got a huge big beach and this is all right across this little inlet bay area from a place where a ton of boats come and they boat and beach. And that's also a pass right out there to the Gulf of Mexico. You see that boat heading that way. So there's nothing better than seeing the dogs come out and play and have some fun. So the number one question that Jeremy and I get asked consistently is how far is it to the beach? And here's what's cool. No matter where you pick to live in Southwest Florida, you have a ton of options for which beaches to go to. And all the beaches are great for different reasons. From where we live in Estero, we can get to three or four different beaches within 30 minutes depending on where you are. If you're closer to Fort Myers, you might prefer to go to Sanibel and Captiva, or you might prefer to go to Naples if you live in Bonita Springs. And then we've got awesome beaches in Marco Island. I just want to share with you, when we talk about sugar sand beaches, what does that mean? Check this out. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And that's something that we are fortunate to have here on the Gulf side of Southwest Florida. So we do get some shell lines from Tide, but for the most part, it's pretty awesome. And right now we're in Fort Myers Beach behind the Wyndham Hotel. And can you even believe how big this beach is? You can see there's a ton of condo buildings that you can purchase in. But this wide beach is seriously amazing. And one of our favorite favorite Southwest Florida events takes place on this beach and it's every year around Thanksgiving and it is the world championship sandcastle building competition and if you are ever here at that time of year I highly recommend that you check it out these people are amazingly talented we wanted to give you a taste today of a little bit of the Southwest Florida lifestyle and what makes living in Southwest Florida so amazing and we are available on all social media channels. Please feel free to click, click the calendar link below if you want to schedule time to have a chat with us and we can talk to you about how can you make a Southwest Florida dream home your reality. We are here to help you do that. We've got lots of great videos talking about how do you choose where to live in Southwest Florida. Check them out. Oh, <laughs> oh,